Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Hello! Hi, Holy! The story I'm going to tell you today is a story about a miracle. Oh, wow! Really? I love stories with miracles. But who will be doing the miracle? Let's get on with the story and find out. Yay! It's story time! Long time ago, Jesus sent his twelve disciples into the country with the Holy Spirit to heal sick people and tell everyone about God's love. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the power from God to heal people. Oh, wow! That's the greatest power of all! When the disciples returned, they met Jesus. They were all very excited to narrate their stories to him about how they healed people and what all they talked about with them and many more. However, thousands and thousands of people followed the disciples to meet with Jesus and see him with their own eyes perform miracles which they had all heard about. But Jesus knew that the disciples wanted to sit with him alone. So he said, Come with me. We shall find some quiet place to talk and get some food and rest. So Jesus and his twelve disciples found a boat and went to a quiet place to talk amongst themselves. But many people saw them leaving and ran following them on land. The wind that day was quite slow, which in turn slowed down the boat Jesus and his disciples were in. And so, the people who were running following them reached the other side of the river much before the boat could reach. The people were waiting on the shore for them to arrive. When the boat reached the shore, Jesus saw the huge crowd and his heart was filled with love for them. He realized that these people had come all the way to meet him, only to find a teacher and someone they could believe in. Jesus knew that the disciples would understand, so he started teaching the crowd. It was getting late in the day, and the people were growing hungry. None of them had had food since morning. The disciples came to Jesus and said, These people are hungry. It's quite late. Let's send back these people so that they can get some food in the neighboring towns. But Jesus had other plans. He said, Do not send them away. You give them something to eat. The disciples were confused. They did not quite understand what Jesus was trying to say. How can we feed so many people? There's no food around. While the disciples were talking to Jesus, one of the disciples, named Andrew, saw a small boy walking down with a lunch box. He stopped the boy and asked him what food he had with him. He ran back to Jesus and his fellow disciples and said, This boy has some food with him. He has two fish and five small loaves of bread. But that will never be enough for such a huge crowd. Jesus just smiled and said, Ask everyone to sit. The entire crowd, all five thousand of them, sat on the ground. Jesus took the loaves of bread from the boy and thanked God for them. He then ordered his disciples to pass around the bread among the people and they could take as much as they wanted. He did the same with the two fish the boy had. After everyone was full, 
Jesus asked the disciples to gather all the leftover food. The disciples did what they were asked to do, and after gathering all the extra food, the disciples counted they had twelve baskets full of fish and loaves of bread. And that was a miracle! The people saw the miracle they wanted to see to believe in Jesus. Wow! That wasn't a miracle. That was magic. That was a wonderful story. Well, I am glad you kids loved it. I love this particular story too. Okay, Holly. We'll be back again to hear another story from you. So, be ready with one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tubby. I am always ready with wonderful stories. See you soon, kids. Bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole.